This week, changes took effect at the U.S. Postal Service that will impact how you send and receive mail. And more changes go into effect tomorrow. On Sunday, the cost to ship packages for the holidays will go up temporarily. Yesterday, new standards went into effect that will lengthen delivery times. Packages, magazine subscriptions, and letters traveling long distances could also take up to five days to arrive instead of just two or three. Grant Herms reports this is not sitting well with one Michigan congresswoman. The changes will affect first class mail and some packages and they could not have come at a worse time. Just the beginning of the busiest shopping and shipping season of the year. Now in full swing this weekend, first class mail will be slower traveling further than local distances. Detroit Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence worked for USPS for 30 years and was the lead on a letter to USPS asking questions about decisions to make these delays permanent. To help shore up the USPS budget, one of the few government services that doesn't get taxpayer funding and needs to turn a profit. Following a year of serious setbacks for the Postal Service, largely driven by the disruptive operational changes you enacted in the midst of a global pandemic, your decision to further slow the delivery of mail poses yet another threat to this vital institution. Lawrence wrote in a letter to USPS Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. On Twitter, Lawrence not holding back, tweeting about the delays, writing it's going to harm seniors, small business owners, and all who depend on prompt mail service. We deserve an explanation and answers. New analysis from the Washington Post showing mail in Detroit will be slower on average one to two days, adding to existing delays. Last fall, Detroit had the slowest mail service in the country, with hundreds of thousands of pieces of mail held up by USPS slowdowns. Sweeping changes to the U.S. Postal Service making snail mail even slower. Now for this round of slowdowns, Detroit actually isn't the slowest in the nation. That looks like it'll be parts of California if you're shipping from Detroit. Packages and some first class mail will take about five days longer than normal to reach their destinations. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4.